Conor McGregor reacts to Jake Paul calling him out. Colin Anthony McGregor is an Irish expert blended military craftsman and fighter. And Jake Joseph Paul is an American YouTuber, web character, entertainer and boxer. They bumped themselves into a fight that was started by Jake Paul by uploading a video on YouTube, in which he distinguishedly called out Conor McGregor. Let's talk about what happened. Main body Paul by and by offended McGregor's fiance, Dee Devlin, during his ex-evaluated bluster and furthermore tore into UFC president Dana White. This YouTuber used very abusive language for Dana White in his recently famous video. You said there's 0% possibility of this battle occurring. Connor, you're frightened. Dana, you're frightened. He used these words frequently as he was obsessed with these words and he kept insulting Conor McGregor and Dana White in his talks. Dana White gives his response. The UFC president told TMZ, per Cinema Blend, I'm considering letting Amanda Nunes take his butt out. Nunes, the prevailing hero of the ladies bantamweight and featherweight divisions in the UFC, reacted to White's short assertion on Twitter. The Brazilian presenter on her adherence on the online media stage, I'm in. The matchup among Paul and Nunes is presumably improbable to occur, as it appears to be the YouTuber has his heart set on a battle with McGregor. During his call-out, Paul asserted the Notorious was dodging him, subsequent to expressing that a $50 million battle offer had been made to the Irishman. My group sent you $50 million offer towards the beginning of today. $50 million agreement with confirmation of assets. The greatest offer you've ever been offered, yet you're actually frightened to battle me, Connor. Paul stated, while hung in an Irish banner. I just fell off the 8th greatest compensation per se occasion ever. However, you need to battle Dustin Prober, who is less adherent on Instagram than my fucking dog. That's true. Paul was not easy on the words and sentences for Connor and others who were tweeting about him. The agreement amongst most boxing fans, obviously, is that the web-based media star is making a numbskull of himself. This is additionally a view partaken in a significant part of the UFC world. White originally excused Paul's odds of battling McGregor. After insulting McGregor, Paul then threatens Nate Diaz. He at one point shuts him down over the video. Notice him. Jake Paul, you need your ass beat with the exception of complimentary you ruined fuck. You can't generally battle dumb shit. You're going to wind up with your ass challenged for genuine someplace talking that way. Paul has since tweeted him back, answering, You saw what happened to the next Nate. The American is discussing his new KO of Nate Robinson a month ago. Robinson, obviously, is a previous NBA player who had never battled an expert session. Jake Paul then tweeted him back, saying, I really beat your boy up. Twitter, however, hasn't looked past Jake Paul's cases and has been savaging him cleverly since. From specialists to big names to fans, Everybody is taking a correspondent at Paul for his crazy case. Many reputable boxers and celebrities also gave their point of view and others ended up making memes on Jake Paul, which the internet took as a whole mood. Jake Paul firing his words like a bullet over Conor McGregor said, You're scared to fight with me, Conor. You're dunking me because you don't want to lose to a fucking YouTuber. You're all in one as a boxer and I'm two to zero as a boxer. Jake Paul always has a bone to pick with someone who says even a single letter. In conversation with Connor's friend, he said, I will no fight some boy from YouTube. I'm a fighter, not a killer. And thus, this goes on every time when a celebrity gets into a fight, as the world around them talks about it. And of course, social media always have the people to react to it.